Using shapes in charts can create more interest and give them infographic styling. There's no limit to the type of shapes you can work with, but there are some techniques required to ensure they don't get distorted when working with data of different values. I'll build the red chart first, and it starts by inserting a regular column chart. So I'm just selecting my data, insert, and then 2D column chart. Let's bring it over closer to the data. First thing I want to do is make the columns a bit wider. So control one to open the formatting pane. Mine's removed from the dock, so it's sitting beside my chart, just makes it easier for us to see together. So I'll change the gap width to 50%. And I'll close that pane for now. The next thing I want to do is insert the shape I want to use. Insert shapes, and then I want a pointed column. So I'm going to use the arrow and then I'm just going to change the formatting of the arrow so it's a pointed column. You want the shape to be roughly the same size as your tallest column. And I want to remove the outline on the arrow to match that of my column. So with my shape drawn on, select it Control c to copy, select the series, just one left click, and Control v to paste. Now you need to be careful of the shape you choose because it will be stretched to fit the different column sizes. In this chart it's barely noticeable but you can see that column C is more pointy than column E. And as you change the size of the chart that distortion will become more or less noticeable. Now we can do some more things to tidy up this chart. For example let's add data labels and now that we have those I don't need my vertical axis or the grid lines. Let's format them to make them a bit bigger and we'll match the color of the label to that of the column. Now you might want to go one shade darker than the actual column when you're formatting text because it makes it just slightly easier to read and it's hardly noticeable in the chart itself. I'll turn off my chart title. You might want one here but this is just dummy data. I'll also format my horizontal axis labels in the same orange and let's make the font a bit bigger. Now if you're going to be putting this into a larger infographic style report, you might want to remove the border on your chart. So with it selected, just choose no outline. And there you have a very sleek looking chart that has that infographic look to it. Now we can use multiple shapes to create a more interesting shape. For example, this chart has circle shapes at the top of the columns, and this requires a little bit more setup so that the shapes don't become distorted when your chart has different size columns. So let me move that out of the way. We'll start by splitting the values into the column portion and the circle portion. Now I know that the circle portion should be roughly 15, and that makes the column portion the value minus the circle portion. You can play with this value once you insert your chart to get it just right. Now to insert my stacked column chart, which is what I need when I have multiple shapes, is to select just the data I want in my chart, insert, and then 2D stacked column. Let's bring it over closer to the data. Again, I'm going to control one and change the gap width to just 50%. And now I can go ahead and insert the shapes I want to use. So insert, the first thing I want is a circle. And I'm just going to hold down shift while I draw it and that ensures that the circle remains perfectly round. It doesn't turn into an oval. Now if I copy and paste that circle onto the circle series, you'll see it's missing the part that joins it to the column. So let's control Z to undo that. And we'll insert the second shape, which will be the rectangle. This needs to be the same width as the circle. So you can use the height and width tools up here to get it just right. So if it's 1.61 wide, this needs to be 1.61 wide, and it is. That rarely happens, but if it's not correct, you can type it in here and override the size. Now both of these shapes have outlines. I want the circle to have a fill color that's darker than the outline. Now we can barely see the outline, so let's change the weight, and we'll make it three point. And we better change the color so that it's the same orange as the column. And I need to do the same for the column. So the fill color on the column will be the same orange, but the outline needs to be the same weight. And we want to make sure it's that orange. Now the circle's sitting behind the column, so let's bring it to the front. 
and with them both selected you can group them and this is a good idea if you have lots of shapes I only have two in this case but with them grouped it just makes it easier to work with so I can now select it Control C to copy select the column Control V to paste now you can see it's distorted so there's a couple of things we can do to remedy that we can make the chart bigger taller or you can change the value in here so if we undo the change of the chart size make this 20 Control enter that's a bit better so you can just play around with the values here I'm going to change it back to 15 and instead make my chart taller okay let's select the legend we don't need that just select it and delete let's select the circle series and I'm going to add data labels I'm going to go into more options and then in here I can deselect show leader lines and value and instead I want value from cells and I want the total value rather than just the circles value. Now we can do some formatting to those values. Let's change the font color to white and we'll make them a bit bigger. Now because we have two series here, I can use the data labels on this series for my horizontal axis labels. So let's add data labels here as well. And again, we don't want leader lines or values. We want to use value from cells and we want the label there. We want to put it inside the base. We'll format it white and make it bigger. So now that we have our values for the horizontal axis and vertical axis on the chart itself, we don't need our axis labels. We also don't need the grid lines and I'll get rid of the chart title. So there you have an infographic style chart. Again, if you're going to put this inside a bigger infographic, you might want to hide the shape outline so that the chart looks even cleaner. Now you can use more shapes and more series as required. For example, you might want a different bottom to the columns like I have here. And all I've done is add another series to my chart that's enabled me to add another shape into the chart. I hope you found these techniques useful. You can download the Excel file for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.